What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike Versbrill, and for today's video, I want to compare these two awesome little lenses right here. This is the Nikon 14 to 30 F4 lens, and this is the Venus Optics Laowa 15 millimeter F2 lens. And I know what you're thinking, this is an F4 lens, so it's not fair, you know, you have to stop this one down to match that, but believe it or not, this thing holds its own at F2 and F2.8, and I have some night photos to show you guys how well it does. So let's just do a quick comparison between these two lenses and then we'll jump to the photos. As you can see, they are very similar in size with the Nikon being slightly larger in diameter and slightly taller as well. They also weigh almost the same, which is about 1.1 pounds, making them both great for traveling. So looking at these lenses side by side, there's really not much of a difference. However, they do feel different since the Laowa is fully encased in metal, while the Nikon has a lot of high quality plastic components. The Laowa feels well built, however it does lack weather sealing so that's just something to be cautious about. Going over the specs of the Laowa, this 15mm full frame lens has a maximum aperture at f2 and a minimum aperture at f22. It has an angle of view of 110 degrees with a minimum focusing distance of 5.91 inches. Optically it has 12 elements in 9 groups with 5 diaphragm blades which I noticed create a starburst when photographing the night sky which I'll touch more on later. This is a manual focus lens and you need to set up the aperture manually as well which is a bit of a bummer for an $850 lens. Now jumping over to the Nikon, it has a variable focal length of 14mm to 30mm with a maximum aperture at f4 and a minimum aperture at f22. It has an angle of view at 114 degrees to 72 degrees with a minimum focusing distance of 11 inches. Optically, it has 14 elements in 12 groups with 7 rounded diaphragm blades. Now what's great about both these lenses is that they handle distortion really well and they both accept circular ND filters and polarizers. The Nikon has an 82mm filter thread and the Laowa has a 72mm filter thread which is great because all I need is a step up ring which allows my 82mm filters to work with the Laowa lens. Now before I go to the pictures I just want to go over the focusing with these lenses really quick. Focusing with the Nikon lens on the Z camera is really simple. They made a low light autofocus option which does a great job. It is slower than the normal autofocus but in a few seconds it can autofocus on a bright star in the night sky. And option 2 with this lens is equally as easy. If you switch the camera to manual focus and turn the focus ring, a flower and an infinity sign show up on the camera screen. Fill the bar up until it reaches the infinity symbol and you'll be in focus. But if you keep turning the focus ring after the bar is filled up, it will be a blurry image. So just dial that back so it's near the infinity symbol for it to be focused accurately. The Laowa 15mm lens is a little bit more difficult to focus with since the manual focus bar does not show up for this lens. So I would zoom in on a bright star with the camera's LCD screen and manually focus until the star was a perfect circle. While this seems easy enough, just be sure to check the sides of the image because sometimes the center would look in focus but the sides of the image would still be slightly out of focus. So you definitely need to check this lens a little bit more thoroughly for better accuracy. All right, let's jump to some photos and I can show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, so here we are with some sample photos I took with my Laowa versus my Nikon. And before I jump into these night photos, I just want to show you guys the difference in field of view with the Laowa versus the Nikon. So this is at 14 millimeters with my Nikon versus the 15 millimeter Laowa. So you can see it punched in a little bit, but it's not that much. So 14 versus 15. Now I took a photo with my Nikon at 15, actually 15.5 millimeters, and it's slightly wider than the Laowa 15 millimeter lens, but I'm gonna use that for a comparison here. So let me just grab the shot of my Laowa lens and compare the two for you guys. And there was something I found out, that, uh, some user error of mine with the Laowa lens. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys really quick. So if we zoom in here, we'll go to two to one. Now on the left here is my Nikon and on the right is the Laowa and you can see they're both nice and sharp in the middle. As I start drifting towards the sides, my Laowa lens gets softer than the Nikon. So you can see that this looks really bad right here and that's actually user error. I found out that the Laowa is you know, very temperamental with 
the manual focus. So just because you think you're in focus in the center doesn't mean that you're focused across the whole picture. You really have to zoom in on your LCD screen and check the whole image, not just the center like I did with this photo. So that was my mistake because I have some shots I took of the stars where I did not have this issue. I have nice sharp stars taken at f2, f2.8, and f4. And that's because this lens doesn't have any of the fail safes that the Nikon has. Nikon you have, you know, low light autofocus and you also have a little infinity symbol that pops up when you're manually focusing. I don't have that when using this Laowa lens since it doesn't communicate with the Nikon uh, Z camera. So that's just something to be aware of, to be, really be patient with this Laowa lens and check the whole picture, not just the center like I did with this photo. So let me just close out of these. And I'm gonna grab two shots I took with my Laowa lens at f4 and compare them. And I'll show you one that was in focus across the whole picture and one that was slightly out of focus, but it was sharp in the middle. So let me just compare these two right here and zoom in. We'll go two to one. So these two photos were both taken with my Laowa 15 millimeter lens at f4. And as I start going towards the side, you're gonna see one of them get more blurry than the other. So as you can see, this photo here on the right is not as sharp as the one on the left, and that's because my focus was just not perfect enough. Now when I'm focusing this lens at night, I'm zooming in with my LCD screen, and I'm trying to find a bright star and make it a perfect circle, but I also want to check the sides and find a star that's close to one of the corners and make sure that's sharp as well. If it's not, then you might end up with results like this. Now let me just close this out. Now these two photos were also taken with the Laowa. This one was at f2 and it has a little heavier vignette than the one that was taken at f2.8. Well, let's zoom in here and we'll go two to one. Now, as you can see here, they're both sharp in the center and at f2 it's just a little bit softer than at f2.8 and that's pretty typical of lenses that are shot wide open. Um, let's go to the sides. They both maintain sharpness across the whole frame. As you can see here, uh, they did a really good job. Even at f2, I'm very impressed with this lens. Typically, I don't shoot wide open. I, I like to stop my lenses down a little bit just to bring back some sharpness corner to corner. But at f2, I would totally use this lens. It handles really well in the corners once you have your sharpness dialed in. Now, as you stop down a lens, you get more of a starburst with brighter objects in the sky. Some people care about that, some people don't. I don't, I don't mind it, um, but that's just something to be aware of. Now let's compare this to my Nikon F4. So what we have on the right is the Laowa 15 millimeter at F2.8, and on the left is my Nikon 14 at F4. And the reason why I left this at f2.8 and I didn't grab the f4 is because I'm, I'm really impressed with this at f2.8 and uh, it holds its own versus my Nikon 14 to 30 at f4. So as we see here, you know, they're both really sharp and uh, look very similar across the whole picture. You know, so as I scroll through both these photos, I'm really impressed. You know, I'm, I'm excited that I have a lens now. I could gather in more light by shooting at f2 and f2.8. And it's not huge and bulky. It's, you know, it's very small and compact. So that's fantastic that I have this quality out of such a small lens. After looking at the results, I'm really pleased with both these lenses and I can't wait to photograph the Milky Way with them later on this year. Now I know I said I was going to wait for the Nikon 20 1.8S lens in an earlier video, but I don't know when that's actually going to come out. It's rumored to be released this year, but that could be towards the end of the year and who knows how long it's gonna be until it actually hits stores. So I decided to fill that void 
with the Laowa 15 millimeter F2 lens. Even though it's a little cumbersome with focusing, you know, when you have to check the corners, it takes a couple extra steps, but you know, to pixel peep and make sure you have it perfectly accurate, it's still a fantastic lens. And I'm really impressed by how sharp it is. And you just can't beat the size of it, man. It's so small lightweight and compact uh, it's great for traveling so if you're in the market for a z mount lens that's ultra wide and it needs to gather in a bunch of light check out the lawa 15 millimeter f2 lens i'll also include a link down below for dpreview.com of this lens and you can download raw sample images and they have a bunch of great shots of the aurora lights and you can really pixel peep the stars and make sure it's of your liking before buying a lens like this so check that out. I hope this video helped you guys out if you were in a predicament like I was. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Hey, hey you, yeah, you. Before you leave, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, if you wanna support this channel, please check out my affiliate links down below. It's what I use and recommend. And lastly, be sure to follow me on Instagram where you can see pictures that I post when I travel for inspiration. And I sometimes do free giveaways. So check that all out. Thanks and goodbye.